Let's look at the data sheet for the LED. Again, when looking at a data sheet, we have to have a goal or purpose. And so we have two purposes. We want to know which pin is which, and we want to find the voltage and current. So there is our LED right there. So let's see if we can see a circuit diagram for the device. Here we are. Uh, we see in this picture here uh, that it shows us the two leads. The anode is the longer lead and the cathode is the shorter lead. And so when I uh, build it, uh, the anode here will be the longer lead and the cathode will be the shorter lead. All right, let's see if we can find the voltage and current. So again, we're looking for the terms um, VF and IF. That's the forward voltage and the forward current. All right, keep going, be patient. Uh, there's a lot of information. These data sheets can be very long. Um, and so again, we're looking for VF, which is the forward voltage, and we're looking for uh, IF, which was the forward current. There we go. VF, which is the forward voltage. And I can see that one of the operating points for my red LED will be 1.7 volts and 2 milliamps. Let's scroll and see if we can see some more information. Scrolling. All right, there's the color red. Here we are. This is the one I'm looking for. This is a plot of the voltage on the LED versus the current, the forward current. And here's our red LED right here. And we saw from the other, other uh, picture that a two milliamp, a two milliamp current is about 1.7 volts. But you can also see that if I were at this point on the curve, I would have another operating point, which would be about 3 milliamps, a little bit brighter, but the voltage would be closer to 1.8 volts. And so what we're going to see is we're going to operate our LED somewhere in this range. And that's how we find the operating point for the LED. So next we're going to show you the circuit.